Hi everybody, it's Kathy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Sephora picks for the Spring VIB sale. The Spring VIB sale will soon be here and I thought that I would just go through some of the things that are on my wish list, but I thought I'd also take the opportunity to make some suggestions for you on tried and true products that I reach for on a daily basis. I'm not too excited about the spring sale because I believe we only get 15% off. Now don't get me wrong, 15% off is still better than nothing, but living in Ontario where our provincial and federal taxes add up to 13%, I'm basically only saving the sales tax, which is still good, but I guess I see this sale as an opportunity to stock up on things that I use on a regular basis instead of going out and uh, trying a bunch of new things. And I'm also um, sticking to using the products that I have because I like the products that I have and I want to uh, use them up. I just don't want to, you know, hoard a whole bunch of stuff. Plus, living in this apartment for the next three months, I have absolutely next to zero storage. So I don't know where I'd put anything anyways. So a few of the things that I, I would recommend picking up, if at all you are interested, and I'm going to start with some brushes the ones that I use on a daily basis, and you've heard me talk about them many times. My favorite foundation brush is the Flat Top Buffing Brush. I believe it's the number six by It Cosmetics. I love this foundation brush. Uh, I have several that I've tried, and I always go to this one. It does a great job with powder foundation as well as liquid, and um, it's a favorite, and I highly recommend getting one of those. Another brush by it is their Heavenly Lux number no. eight ball wand brush. This brush is so multi-purpose. You can use it for powder, bronzer, you could even use it for blush. Often you'll see me in my get ready with me use this multiple times and uh, it's very easy to clean off in between uh, say blush and bronzer. You can use the it brush cleaner. You can just give it a quick clean with a brush cleaner or one of those, um, oh, what do you call them? Those little color exchange things. I have one, but it's packed away in my box. Even if you just kept like a microfiber cloth on your lap uh, and just swish this around on the cloth, it does a great job of cleaning that as well. Another brush that I really, really like by it, and I don't remember where I got it. It must have been a bonus with purchase is their blush brush. And I actually used it this morning to do a this get ready with me with the makeup that I'm wearing today. I love how the end of the brush is constructed. It's not uh, really, really dense. There's like space in between the hairs, I guess is the best way to describe it. And I find it so, um, it works so nice. You just dip it in, tap it into your blush and then just tap it onto your face. And it really uh, picks up a lot of products and of course I could not do a wish list video without mentioning my favorite brush and it is the Charlotte Tilbury smudge brush I love this brush you see me use this all the time it is the perfect perfect brush for smudging um, eyeshadow or eyeliner underneath the eye I also use it to smudge in along the lash line on the top of the eyelid. It's great for doing the um, outer V work. And you could also use it to highlight under the brow bone. I love this brush and I may actually pick up a second one someday. I am on a no makeup buy for the summer, but we'll see how that goes. Another sort of tool that I've absolutely been loving, and this is my second dry bar purchase, and it is the Lemon Drop Brush. I don't know if this is the small or the large. I'll have to look it up and I'll link it below, but I use this brush daily just to uh, brush my hair. And there is some hair in it, so sorry about that, but um, yeah, I love it. The other brush that I have by dry bar is the small round brush, and um, I love their brushes. They are a little on the pricey side, but they really do work well. Now, sticking with uh, brushes, I guess I'll go to the Beauty Blender. This is my favorite solid cleanser, and this is the Pro size. I've had this, gosh, for over a year. So it comes uh, with a little 
um, I don't know what you call it, rubber mat. There's the soap. And basically what I do is I actually leave it in the container when I'm doing my brushes. I will wet my brush and then I will just like swirl my brush around in there. And then whenever I'm done cleaning, I'll just rinse the soap off, rinse this off, set that on the a counter where I'm cleaning my brushes, just let it air dry and it's good to go for next time. Like I said, I've had this for well over a year and it really, really works well. I actually prefer it over the uh, the original or the white, the white um, soap that you can get with that. A perfume that I have absolutely been loving and wearing nonstop. I received this as a Christmas gift from my daughter. You can see how much is gone and it is Joy by Dior. Love this perfume. I thought I would suggest it because I think it is a great spring and summer fragrance. It's not too heavy and I always get complimented and people stop and ask me, what are you wearing? You smell so good. I love the Dior fragrances. I think I have three. I have the original, I have Joy, and I have is the Blooming Bouquet. I also had the J'adore many years ago, but I find that my tastes have changed and I find it a bit too strong now. But I alternate between those three fragrances all the time, but I always seem to reach for that one. Now, if I could suggest a skincare item uh, that you might want to think about picking up, and it is the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. This is a large bottle. This bottle is $200 Canadian. It is uh, almost empty, but I do have a backup that I had purchased in November at the sale. I uh, love this stuff. I use it every morning. It just does such a great job of keeping my face clear. Um, it exfoliates any um, dead stuff hanging around on my face and it really really is a good product and i don't think that i will ever be without it i've been using that now steadily for probably two to three years now makeup this is something i actually had in my makeup drawer for probably a year and one day i decided i'm going to use this thing and i can't put it down i love it it's by it cosmetics and it is their celebration foundation I wear it in the shade light. It is so quick and easy to do my makeup. I literally can apply this on my face in 30 to 60 seconds flat. I use it again with this flat top brush, swirl it around, swirl it around the face. It gives me light to medium coverage. There is no SPF in it. Uh, it's great for travel. It comes with this nice little mirror and it also comes with this little, ouch. Um, sponge thingy that I never use. I just I just leave it in the bottom there, but I love it. And I do have a backup and I'm actually thinking of getting rid of my liquid CC creams and just sticking with this because I much prefer the look of this on my face than the original CC cream. So I can't say enough good things about that. I also have the illuminating one that I purchased a couple months ago on a showstopper but I want to use this one up first uh, before I crack that one open. But who knows, someday I may give the other a try. Something that I picked up, I think on last year's VIB sale also is by Charlotte Tilbury. And if you only want to have one powder in your collection, I suggest this one. I wear it in the shade two medium and it is her pressed um, airbrush flawless finished powder. It's wonderful. I know people say there is not a lot of product in here. I don't use mine every day, so I can't really tell you how long it would last me, but I do love it. It does a, such a great job at uh, like honestly giving your face a flawless finish. It looks like your makeup's been airbrushed and it does a great job if you also get oily in the T-zone like I do. I have combination skin, love this stuff. Something that I've also had for a while, um, I think I actually might have bought it last spring in the Sephora sale because I was planning on using it for last summer, but I just cracked it open um, a few months ago and I'm really enjoying shopping my stash because I forget about products that I have bought. And like I said, I don't wanna just keep buying products for the sake of buying them. 
I want to enjoy what I have. And if I don't like what I have, just get rid of it. Give it away, donate it, or even sell it. So something that I'm really happy that I bought is the IT Cosmetics Vitality Face Disc. I'm wearing this today. I often wear this. I'm just gonna show you how big the mirror is. Like, it's huge. Try not to blind you. But there's so much product in here. I have used this to do my full face. I've also used this as uh, eye makeup. You have a, um, there's a powder, a nice blush that's perfect for spring and summer, and this nice bronzer. The thing that I like about IT Cosmetics bronzers is that they don't go orange on me. Uh, this is great, it's, it's nice and thin, it easily would fit into your purse. Uh, like I said, it's perfect for travel. And the last thing that I would recommend to you is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is the travel size. I love travel size of mascara because I rarely go through a full tube. The one thing I do not like so much about this mascara is the brush because plenty of times I have poked myself in the eyeball. I find the brush is very uh, big and cumbersome. I do like this mascara and I'm actually wearing it today. So like I said, I'm probably not going to buy a lot of stuff at this sale. Um, I'm Well, you know, I'm building a new house, so we're trying to uh, save our money for the house. I'm excited about decorating and stuff like that. But I also, um, I'm also thinking of purchasing uh, a new purse. So I'm trying to save some money for that. So let me know in the comment sections if you plan on picking anything up at the Sephora VIB sale. I would love to hear all about it. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. And I thank you so much for spending time with me today. Have a great day. Bye.